Welcome, everybody! Thank you so much for being here. I love New York! Hey, everybody. Welcome. Come here and say live. Let's hear it again. I'm Walker, and uh, we got a great show for you tonight. So stay tuned. Cop USA Live, everybody. Woo! really whips the llama's ass. A journey to banana land. El Pulpo, the octopus controlling the land, oppressing people with its upper hand, mass producing a natural delicacy, profiteering with the men in Bo of Boston cheering. Mass production and mass consumption were their primary goals, raping the land with their excessive holes. Minor Keith, a self-made man, ruling the rails and banana trails, employing individuals from far and wide to harvest bananas for his own pride, always trying to make a buck. Fair trade? This ruthless, this ruthless guy didn't give a fuck. Banana trees, notorious for disease. Sigatoka, a dark dependency glaring in the face of these traumatized states. Washington's efforts to break the monopoly were sporadic and unsuccessful. A sad realization in the face of a nation, united fruit, a shrine to globalization. I'm an aspiring actress. I'm so excited to be here tonight. Uh, really quick, just want to give a quick shout out to my uh, acting coach, <laughs> Shannon. Hey. Hi. Um, and uh, also to my vocal coach, uh, Ashley. Ash, hi. OK. Um, so I have a Barbra Streisand monologue that I'm going to perform for you. had for breakfast was onion rolls. And then one day in walks, <gasps> a bagel! And you'd say, ugh, what's that? Until you tried it. See, that's my problem. I'm a bagel, ugh, on a plate, <sighs> full of onion rolls. No one recognizes me. Look. I got 36 expressions. Sweet as pie to tough as leather. And that's six expressions more than all them Barrymore's put together. So instead of just kicking me, 
Why don't they give me a lift? <laughs> well, it must be a plot, because they're scared of what I got. <laughs> and scene. All right, thank you guys so much. <laughs> There's no offline results for the song Scatman. Is, uh, this is why we come together. Uh, today I'm going to be on revealing the new uh, Troubadron 2000. And uh, yeah. I have, it here, I have it here in three parts. You know, I get to get them shipped from Amazon. You know, it's been late. It was like two weeks. So you guys prepare. If you really want the Troubadron, you got to order it before you go on vacation, right? So then it'll come. It's like present. There's the three parts, right? When you do all three parts, you get something amazing, and that's what we're going to experience. <laughs> the first.
first thing you do is you remove your parts, right? So uh, it comes kind of pre-fitted, so you kind of take it, to get, take it apart and put it back together. So in this in box number two, you'll find all your parts. You just gotta go. Oh remember, no. they're all in there. And then you gotta, you know, see the three sections, right? They're clearly uh, marked with these red lines. You wow. know, they're, they're micro lines, so you can't see them. And then you just gotta really wrap it up. just to indicate where we're going. So part A goes on part B, and then, you know, when you, once you get to Z, you'll see how it all goes together. They uh, mark it as an alphabet. Everybody knows the alphabet, you know? Right. The big boy goes on first. You got to slide it right back in there, right? You see, you see how it goes right to the to fit to the tip or else it doesn't work. Mm. You get the thing. You put the other two on, you know, together just because. This is where the instructions get vague, so it's all up to interpretation. So I got this part, and uh, it's labeled in the manual as part D, but, you know, I'm already on to Z, so whatever. You gotta wrap it up tight. You gotta remember to wrap it up tight or else the thing won't work. This part's a little tricky because, you know, it has, uh, it's sort of attached, but not really. <laughs> but the, the, you know, the Trumatron's one of those products that, you know, once you see all the specs, you'll understand really how it all, how it all works. It's, uh, it's, it's predominantly, you know, not really seen by normal people. It's, it's uh, one of those new products that's come out in the tech industry and everyone's really excited about it. Right, this part's important. You gotta remember to flip it. Uh, and that's when you begin the, you know, remember to stab only downwards, not upwards. <laughs> comes all together is when you tie it up. When you hear that noise, you know that things are really coming. Whoa! Right. Easy with does a it. twist and a spin, we've done it all. Cyber antenna, the Trubitron 2000. Don't forget to wave and subscribe. <laughs> So check out my message to you. As a matter of fact, I don't let nothing hold you back. If the scat man can do it, so can you. Salping ovarectomy. Overview. Salping ovarectomy is the removal of the fallopian tube. Salpingectomy and ovary oophorectomy. A unilateral salping ovarectomy is appropriate for patients in whom an ovary is unable to be preserved, including cases of ruptured ectopic pregnancy with an inability to achieve hemostasis without removal of the tube and ovary, adduxal torsion in which the ovary and tube are necrotic, a tube or ovarian abscess not responsive to antibiotics, or a benign ovarian mask in which there is no remaining normal ovarian tissue able to be conserved. A bilateral salping ovarectomy is generally one of three types. Elective autonomous hysterectomy for benign conditions. Prophylactic in women with increased risk of ovarian cancer or because of malignancy. Indications. Indications for SALPINGOOPHORECTOMY include the following.
hyphen bullet, elective, removal of normal appearing ovaries and tubes at the time of a concurrent surgery, commonly a hysterectomy for benign disease, to decrease the risk of development of ovarian pathology and decrease the need for future procedures, hyphen bullet, malignancy, ovarian cancer, uterine cancer, or metastases to ovaries from a distant primary malignancy, gastrointestinal, breast, lung carcinoma, hyphen bullet, risk reducing, removal of ovaries and tubes in women genetically susceptible to ovarian cancer, hyphen bullet, benign and for mass, hyphen bullet, hyphen bullet, hyphen bullet, level ovarian abscess, hyphen bullet, ectopic pregnancy, hyphen bullet, endometriosis, patient education and consent, Risks, benefits, and alternatives need to be discussed with the patient before surgery. The indication for the procedure, the patient's medical history, age, reproductive status, and the patient's own wishes all influence the decision on whether a surgeon attempts ovarian preservation or removal. Patients must be informed of the possible complications and the long-term effects of decreased hormone levels. Most operatively, patients should be educated on the typical course of recovery. Patients should be aware of signs of complications, fevers and chills, persistent nausea and vomiting, drainage from the redness of the incision, difficulty with bowel function, difficulty avoiding, pain which is not resolving, chest pain, difficulty breathing, lower extremity swelling, or calf pain. Patients should be aware of the need for long-term follow-up, especially after a bio as a FPI, PH, or ACT, or as well, to ensure proper monitoring for conditions related to a lack of hormones. Paramenopausal women who undergo a bilateral as a FPI, MGO, or PH, or ACT, or MGO, may experience symptoms of surgically induced menopause, including hot flashes, night sweats, insomnia, and vaginal dryness. These patients may have the option of symptomatic relieving the use of various medications. Options include hormone replacement with estrogen, Patients who have had a hysterectomy, so estrogen and cox in combination. Patients who have uterus, antidepressants, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors and serotonin or epinephrine reuptake inhibitors, clonidine, game of hands. Patients, black hawash, evening primrose, don quay eye, discuss individual risks and benefits of medications and supplements to determine their best options, since several factors including age, severity of symptoms, medical conditions, and breast cancer risk all influence decision making. The vast majority of cases are done under general anesthesia, regardless of surgical approach. However, under rare circumstances, procedures may be done under regional anesthesia. Positioning. Correct positioning is important to prevent nerve injury. Stretching and compression of nerves must be avoided when positioning the patient. For an abdominal approach, the patient is placed in a dorsal supine position. For a laparoscopic or vaginal approach, the patient is placed in dorsal lithotomy position. The patient's hips are flexed with thighs moderately abducted, knees flexed, and dorsiflexion of the feet. There should be minimal external rotation of the hips. Technique. Approach considerations. An abdominal approach may be preferred if the patient has known or suspected severe adhesive disease, a large abdominal mass, or if there is a high suspicion of malignancy. A laparoscopic approach may be appropriate in cases with low risk of malignancy and smaller sized abdominal mass. A laparoscopic approach is beneficial in that it decreases blood loss, length of hospital stay, and recovery time. A vaginal approach is the least common approach and is only used when S A L P I N G O O P H R E C T O M Y is done concurrently with a vaginal hysterectomy. Abdominal approach. The patient is transferred to the operating room table and placed under general anesthesia. A pelvic examination is performed to determine the position, size, shape, and mobility, and to palliate the abdomen. The patient is positioned in the dorsal position and the patient's abdomen is cut and draped in a sterile fashion. The joint is a vertical incision may be chosen depending on the indication for surgery, the patient's body and Do not listen to this recording if you are driving or operating heavy machinery. You've never been to this place, but it feels oddly familiar. You're very happy that you left all your bags and things behind because they would weigh you down now. And that would complicate things for you. No, you need no complications. Things must be made simple outside. 
so you can simplify those things inside. This is no reckoning, no settling of accounts. The debts you had are wiped, because they were never really there. You're a kid who stole Double Bubble from the candy store, and no one's here to march you back. Things are everywhere. All everywhere is here. Switch it. You feel like reaching out, but you don't. You feel like reaching in. And you do. Suddenly. You hear a sound. Some stuff for you. It's got to pull up. See if my if my hack will actually go through. Well, whatever. You just go to add detective work and then drop one. Sorry, I'm not the best hacker. I just post memes, so forgive me. That's Mac, that's Marks, and there are all these CompUSA guys thing. <laughs> oh geez Louise, this is not how this hack was supposed to go. Well, you take risks sometimes. All these drone cameras on me. Oh, uh, well, here I am, you know. I made an appearance. It took me a while to hack in, but I guess I didn't do too good of a job. But... There's my feed, at least. Check it out, that was a book photo of me. There is some data as Sherlock Holmes, which is in a way me, because it's a robot and a detective. So, yep, just a friendly Instagram robot and human machine coming at ya. I think maybe the connection is fading. But do the images anyways, check them out. Oh, my face, please. Throw up the mics. Throw them up.
the scab law. I'm the professor and all I can tell you is why you still sleep and the saints are still weeping because things you call dead haven't yet had the chance to be born. I'm the scab man. Here, I'll cut the music. I'm serious. Oh, no. Well, as I'm sure you guys can already tell, I'm Walker. And, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <sighs> this isn't how I thought this episode was going to go. Wow. You know, when we, when we set out to make CompUSA Live, You know, you see this shit? I mean, literally, you see this shit? I, 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 we had to pay a deposit for this place. Well, you know. I'm Walker. Give you guys a big round of applause. Let's get a big round of applause. It's a great show. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I literally can't believe it. <laughs> Don't see. 